How's it going everybody? Caster Troy here with another Rust Electronics tutorial. And in this video I have a battery backup system. Um, and I'm showing you how to do this in several different ways. Um, I have primary power and I have dual power going here. And I'm going to show you how you can set all this up so that if you lost power you'd run a battery that would back your system up until this battery is out and then when that one goes out it kicks in the next one and you can do this for however long you want and the only thing you would need is plenty of power to juice into these batteries very good system very robust and it can help you out in a lot of different situations um, but let me show you how to set this up first off I'm going to no clip here outside and I'm going to show you my primary power system uh, very simple and uh, pretty standard system here four solar panels one each direction this is to maximize my uh, electrical gain from solar panels so take these two solar panels here and put them into the input of this root combiner and do the same for the other two into the next one here now these two you're gonna take both of them and run into another root combiner and from there you're gonna take that out and you're going to run it into a switch. This is your primary power. Take no clip off here. So you have your primary power set up in this situation, solar panels as I've shown. Now you're going to take your switch, you're going to wire this up to three electronical branches. Now you need three in this system because that's what I have set up. This can be changed however many batteries you want. So in this instance I have this one right here powering this battery if you wanted more you simply just need to add another one like this could be powering this battery right here but I have a separate backup power system dedicated to this battery that's just what I have in this situation anyways take your output from here run to a branch and then take all your power outs and connect them to the power ends of the adjacent electrical branches and your last power out, you need to connect to the input A of an OR switch. This is what's going to determine uh, where your power is coming from to run the rest of your system, your circuit you have. So if I were to shut this off, now we swapped over to backup power. Turn that back on. Okay, well let's get started by hooking up these batteries. So your first electrical branch, in this instance I have it set to 10, um, depending on the power you have, you can set this higher, uh, maximum of 100 to charge these batteries faster or slower. This is dependent on the power that you have incoming. Uh, just for the sake of this video, I have it to 10. So I'm running this to the in of this battery here. Coming back to the second electrical branch, uh, just have this set to minimum 2 running this to a blocker and the third one same as the other one set the two you're running this to an XOR switch okay so let's go back to this blocker here now this is the primary power battery this is coming off of here you're gonna wanna take this output and run it in the power into this blocker here from there you're gonna need another electrical branch run the power out to the power into that electrical branch this is when the power is off this turns this on passes through turns on this electrical branch and splits it between this XOR switch and runs the other power up into that one now this XOR switch all it's doing is when you have primary power coming in it's gonna feed it through to the OR switch when you lose it it swaps over to the backup battery the first one that enables this to continuously be blocked without drawing the power out of it see how it's still charging if you don't do that and you have this just hooked up here and you have this hooked up on here this power will come on when this is blocked so it will not work you need to have another XOR switch anyways turn the primary back on so that will be uh, pretty much it for that part take this uh, branch out and hook it up to the other side of your XOR switch completing that one from the output of that XOR switch 
bring it to the blocker of this second, uh, the pass-through of this second blocker. This is your parallel battery. And this cycle here you can repeat infinitely, but we're just doing two for this video. Now, like I said before, you can run, you can power two batteries off of primer if you like. In this instance, I have a backup power source. So I'm running this backup power source to the switch. So I can turn this battery on and off if I like, or switch it, or whatever. And it, I'm running it out to this battery to power it. And then you take the output from this one and run it into the in of this blocker. This is your secondary battery. So, and then from there, you simply connect this to the other input of this XOR switch. So now, everything is hooked up once you uh, take the power out of this and run it into this input here. And then your OR switch is set up for whatever you like. In this circumstance, I just have it simply sent to a switch. Always good to be able to turn your power off and on at different stages of your circuit. Um, and then it's just powering a light. Simple as that. But just to demonstrate, power just got lost to the solar panels. This battery is going to go and run for two minutes, roughly. And then this battery is going to take its place when this one dies out. Very effective and very handy, especially when, uh, especially in this circumstance with the solar panels. When nighttime comes, I'll lose power, have power to run my light until daytime, maybe. But if not, I have a backup system that'll take over. I uh, hope that helps out, and thank you for watching.